Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have re-signed Antonio Brown to a contract extension. This is a move that a lot of people were hoping would happen. Again, I don't have the details of this contract. I'll let you know down in the comments section below. But yeah, just kind of talking about this move real quick. Uh, this is definitely going to be a kind of prove it situation, I feel, for Antonio Brown, you know. Um, his off-field troubles are still a concern, you know, as to how much he can play throughout the regular season. And yeah, I mean, everybody knows that, okay? It's, that's not a secret. But I do think this is a very low-risk, high-reward signing, much like how it was whenever the Tampa Bay Buccaneers first signed Antonio Brown. Um, I, I feel a very similar way now that he is re-signed of let's just wait and see what happens Antonio Brown throughout the second half of the regular season and in the playoffs as well he did a pretty all right job um obviously he was still trying to learn things in terms of the offense probably still trying to get some chemistry timing down as well um and I think with a full off season and the ability to just train in full with Tom Brady and the rest of the wide receivers and Bruce Arians and Byron Leftwich, I think Antonio Brown will be better going into next season. I really do believe that. I think with a full offseason under his belt, some experience already in the offensive system, I think Antonio Brown will be really good. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just continue their streak of bringing back literally everybody. I mean, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and Antonio Brown are all back. All 11 of the defensive starters from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl team are back as well. Gronkowski's back. I mean, they brought back everybody that was important. You know, they really did. Um, and it's huge. It's huge for the offense. It's huge for Tom Brady. It's huge for trying to repeat and get another Super Bowl championship. I mean, the Bucs are doing everything they can to make sure that repeating is a real possibility. And I think it is a real possibility with all these re-signings. But Antonio Brown, like I said, we'll have to wait and see if he can play the full season. Um, I, I think he has a chance to play the full season. You know, again, we will have to wait and see. But I'm confident that, you know, regardless of how much he plays, I still think he will be a productive wide receiver for the Buccaneers. I'm going to be very interested to see how Bruce Arians and Byron Leftwich use him now. Um, that they'll have a full offseason to game plan with him and figure out how to get him ready. I'm excited to see him, you know, with a full offseason and get ready to go as well and build more chemistry up with everybody. I think this will be a good move. Like I said, low signing move in terms of dollar amounts, but high reward because Antonio Brown, when he's on, he's one of the best wide receivers in the game. You pair that up with Chris Godwin and Mike Evans, you got some problems for opposing defenses. And I think that that will be very, very good. So with that being said, guys, leave me your thoughts about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about the Antonio Brown re-signing? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Give me your thoughts about how you think Antonio Brown will do in this upcoming regular season. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.